Friday print fam. Got the sun on me. There we go. Um, got the Konica firing up. We've got some prints to do for my neighbor, 19 pages, so an unimpressive amount. And then we've got a set of business cards to print. After that, we need to switch out the banner media for some adhesive vinyl media. Um, print some vinyl that I can apply over top of some magnets. And I think that's about it today. We still have those shirts that we can do <laughs> uh, that I keep postponing. Um, my new toy has come, I mean tool has come. So I gotta go pick that up with the pickup truck at the post office. And I think that's about it. So let's get going. All right guys, got all the business cards done, which was five pages worth, so not much. Um, printed the pages for my neighbor. Now I'm working on doing some labels, but I'm trying to figure out the math and it's making my brain hurt. For some of you, it might be really simple, but let me show you what I'm trying to figure out. So here's my 12 by 18 sheet. I've got 15 rows this way, 10 rows this way. And right now there's an eighth of an inch or 3.175 millimeters between each circle. The problem is, is I want to expand that just a little bit. So instead of, these are one inch circles, so they're 25.4 millimeters. I want to expand them to 26 millimeters. So when I print, there's a little bit over the edge just to make sure that they line up okay because I'm flooding the print. So I'm trying to figure out, okay, if I make these, instead of being 25.4, I make them 26, then what's my new spacing between each one? And it's making my brain hurt. All right, guys, I got it figured out with the help of an Excel spreadsheet. So basically, for simplistic sake, let's say that this is 25 millimeters and I want to make it 26 millimeters. Then I have to subtract half a millimeter from this distance and one millimeter from the spacing. So it'd be minus a half plus one, minus one plus one, minus one plus one, minus one plus one, plus one, minus, one, minus, one, minus, one, minus half. So that way you're, because basically what you're having to do is since you're adding one here, you have to take a half from each side. And so because you're adding one here, you have to take a half from here and a half from here. And because you have two, this makes it so you're subtracting one from right here. Make sense? Part of the reason I was struggling was if you look at my Excel spreadsheet, I did it in millimeters and 302.33 is not 12 inches. It's almost 12 inches, but 12 inches is 304.8. But when I did the same math in inches with the spacing, it equaled the 302.3306. So the math is the same. The sheet is just not quite 12 inches. So my spacing should be correct. And then I just made this Excel spreadsheet where I can change this one value. So I can change that to one. And now it says, okay, this is minus a half. So it's gonna minus a half here. Add one there, minus one, add one minus one, minus blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so hopefully when I actually go to print this, it'll line up because of all this stupid effort I've gone through. All right, guys, third time's the charm. But I realized I'm a bit of an idiot because in the Impose software, you define how big the bleed is and it does the math for you. So don't waste your time like I did figuring out the math. Just tell Impose that there's a bleed and it will do it for you. Um, the only problem that I'm still having, which it's not terrible, but you can see the end one, the shift is a little bit to the left as opposed to the top one, but it's still, I still think it's acceptable. 
most people when they would look at it wouldn't notice um, but it is something that I am gonna try to figure out but it looks good like that's super slick 150 stickers and it literally takes a second to print it's awesome all right I'm only a few pages in and this thing has jammed three times it's getting caught um, I'll just show you where it's getting caught so there's one page getting caught right here and it's basically the same spot every time because you can see it's right there and it's done it two other times so there's just this knob right here that I pick up the edge of the paper and twist the knob and it feeds itself out and there's one and then I just close this back up press the handle then this and there's one right here so it's usually just a little bit stuck and then close it and then it usually says it's done let's try it again I should put this back down. So, that sucks. Don't know why, but I can just tell it to print again and it works. So, I'm guessing we're 20 pages in and it's done it three times. So, three per 20, I have 67 to go. So, it's going to jam six more times. Maybe seven. I'll let you know. All right, in total, I lost 20 sheets from jamming. Um, so basically I had 10 jams, so more than I was anticipating. I did try swapping the tray, see if that would help. It didn't, it made it worse. So labels from the bottom one, tray five. Um, tried changing the GSM because it wasn't given to me. So I tried higher, tried lower, that didn't help either. Um, but I got them to work. It's frustrating that I lost so many pages. I don't know if it counts as clicks when it jams, if it doesn't. So we'll go over the numbers in a little bit. All right, print fam. Number wise, was that job worth it? Absolutely. Even with losing, I, I um, with the prints that I did beforehand, a check measurement and whatnot, I'm estimating that the job cost roughly $30 and the invoice to the customer was for 200 so I'd say it's definitely worth it they are getting 10,000 stickers my cost is about 30 bucks good deal definitely if you can do it right it's definitely cheaper to produce the labels on the Konica versus the latex um, if I were to try to do the same thing on the lace text, it would cost me a heck of a lot more money. Um, but glad I didn't have to. So, all of the day, got to get one more business card order printed and packaged so that we can take that to the post office at the same time. And we'll see what else we're doing. I'm not sure. Oh, I got to do Bob's stuff still. All right, Prefam, fam. I'm at the post office. I picked up my new tool but the box is damaged. It's a wooden crate and it's, it's in bad shape. So we're gonna have to get it back to the office and see how bad it really is. Hopefully it's not damaged. All right, before we reveal the new tool, I want you to leave a comment down below with what you think it is. Okay. It's a corner rounder. Let me show you how it works. 
So apparently I wasn't recording, showing you how it punches. So, in essence, put the paper in here. <laughs> Let me push the, pump, the pedal down. And it punches the corners, but I already did them all because I thought I was recording. So, let's grab this notepad. Just make sure it's in the corner. And then it punches the paper with me. Definitely not the greatest. You could spend far more money and get something way more precise. But for what I need, this will be great. Like I said, I need to spend a little bit of time getting these guides aligned a little bit better, but I'm happy with it. Um, yeah, so got some jobs that want some round corners. I'll be able to add round corners to business cards a lot more easy. And it will do about a hundred at a time. All right, we are printing more car magnets. Um, Bob's customer that he took him to the other day wanted some more different size. So we're getting those printed and then I'll apply them to the magnet media, but that's really about it for today. So I'm gonna call it a night. I'm gonna let this finish. I'll probably apply them tomorrow or Monday or just maybe Monday. I doubt I'm gonna do it today. It's already 7.30. I'm going to go inside, spend some time with the family. So we'll let this print and end it there. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions about what I do, why I do it, how I do it, etc., leave those questions down in the comments. If you want to support the channel, you can do so with the links in the description. Flexi's freaking out. Um, thank you, Cam, for editing the video. Really appreciate you. As always, though, we just appreciate you watching. If you have any questions, like I said, leave those down in the comments. And I hope I see your guesses down there, too. Before you watched it, not after. See ya! Oh. I, I'm busy. I'm distracted. I didn't meet my goal. <laughs> Bye, Perfam. Shh!